Families of Americans who are stuck in Gaza are pleading with the U.S. government to help bring them home. These are pictures of Emily Rauschenberger with her husband and five children. Emily grew up here in the United States. She and her children are U.S. citizens, and her husband is Palestinian and a British citizen. They all live in England normally, but they were visiting the husband's family in Gaza when the war erupted. And joining us now is Emily's father, John Rauschenberger. John, thank you so much for making time to be with us. Um, I'm sure this is an incredibly difficult time for you. Understand that you're in Florida, your daughter's over there with the family, and you're in contact with her. Can you describe for us what you've been able to learn from them since Saturday? Um, thank you very much. I appreciate it immensely. It's heartfelt that you're drawing attention to their, their uh, the dilemma and their challenges. Uh, they were getting ready to leave to come home from a visiting of uh, my son-in-law's 84-year-old ailing, mo ailing mother when this war broke out. And they've had to move three times. Uh, their original family farm, uh, they, the, my son-in-law's family has a 200-acre olive tree farm. And um, that's basically been destroyed by bombing along the border. That's their, where their 200-acre farm was. Mm -hmm. And they've had to move three sub subsequent times. And um, uh, to the Israelis' credit, they do alert an area, and you've got 60 to 90 minutes to, to flee an area before they bomb it. Um, our frustration is, and what, with the straw on the camel's back, is when uh, I heard from my daughter, we communicate via FaceTime, hmm. um, wherever they're at. But um, w we finally got through the State Department, filled out the forms, how do we evacuate? And uh, when I called back after a long, long wait online, as you can imagine, um, we were told there are no plans to evacuate Americans from Gaza. You're on your own. That was from and the I State said, Department, John? That, that's, that's from a State Department person who answered the phone in Washington, D.C., 72 hours ago. I mean, it must and be so well, hard to see them moving so much and not knowing when they can get out. Um, how, how is that feeling for you? Because you're saying that you've been in touch with the State Department. Yes, well, again, via uh, a phone call, uh, directed me to the website, registered them for evacuation, called them back, got through, and when they said they're on their own, um, I started looking at other options and how to help them, and then they're having to move, uh, and then they cut off, and rightfully so. I mean, I'm an Israeli supporter. I understand what's going on. It, what, what Hamas has done is unconscionable. I understand they need to eradicate them. But there are Americans and other foreign nationals stuck in Gaza. How do we get out? They're in the southern part of the country, which, as you know, is not very large, 28 miles long, three to five miles wide. Egypt has communicated they'll take the refugees or the foreign nationals, but Israel won't let them out. Yeah, um, so that, that, that was the straw that broke the camel's back that I reached out to media. Yeah, I understand. I know that, that that crossing into Egypt is not open right now. So what, in this last minute we have, what would you like to happen? What, what are you praying for, hoping for? I understand we've got to evacuate Americans and other foreign nationals out of actual Israel to the north. We owe that. But I'm asking for the, the U.S. government, the State Department, to work with and put the appropriate pressure on Israel to give us a 24 to 36 hour humanitarian uh, opening of the, the, the Fatah, Fatah uh, border crossing into Egypt. That's what I'm asking for. And we're finding with the federal government, you've just got to get your case out there. My congressman has stepped up to the plate, uh, Congressman Byron Donalds uh, and uh, Congressman yeah. and Senator Mark Rubio. But what I'm trying to accomplish is open that for 24 to 36 hours the border crossing, um, and all we got to do is ask Israel or ask them to stop bombing, and they're specifically bombing that area and telling people not to go there, um, for all people who need to flee, yeah. foreign nationals, and most importantly, obviously, my heart's with my daughter and her five kids and my son-in-law. Of course, and our heart is with her and you too, John Rauschenberger. Thank you so much for being with us, especially during this difficult time. Know that we're keeping you and your family in our thoughts. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.